All right, everybody, it's time for another Masterpiece Hunt. We've got two of each pack of the six sets that could have a Masterpiece in them. How many is that? That's 12 packs. So let's start opening these up. Um, still looking for a Fatal Push from Aether Revolt. Um, that would be a easier get than any of the Masterpieces. And, uh, but still hopeful. Basically got a box of each of these and I'm just going to go through them over time and see if I can achieve the improbable. Let's see, Uncommons out of Kaladesh, I got Sky Whaler Shot, Embril Bruiser, Disappearing Act, and Padim, Console of Innovation. Artifacts you control with Hexproof at the beginning of your upkeep. If you control an artifact with the highest converted mana cost or tied for the highest converted mana cost, draw a card. Impress me, he says. Yep, definitely. The flavor is probably better than the card. All right, no masterpiece. Next pack. How's everyone doing today? How was your new year? Mine was good. Glad to hear it. All right, let's see what else we got here. A thriving Ibex. Narnum Cobra. Okay, uncommons. We got Harness Lightning, Diabolic Tutor, Start Your Engines, and the rare is a vehicle, Cultivator's Caravan. Three for a five-five. Add one mana to of any color to your mana pool and crew. Crew it for three. Is it a mana dork? Is it a giant beater vehicle? It can't decide, but there it is. <clears throat> On to Aether Revolt. Still looking for the fatal push. Hinterland Jake, nice art. Pretty much all the art is nice, right? I don't know, I don't know if I like that art. Finn Holler? Yeah, I gotta say I'm not a fan. Automaton Assembler, a Poisoner, a Shielded Aether Thief, Aeronaut Admiral, got something foil coming up, Thopter Arrest, Aid from the Cowl, it's cost 5, Enchantment has Revolt, at the beginning of your end step, if a permanent you control left the battlefield this turn, reveal the top card of your library, if it's a permanent card you may put it onto the battlefield, otherwise you may put it on the bottom of your library, not bad. Probably a decent commander card. Foil here is Pima, Aether Seer, and Elf Druid. Okay, Aether Revolt again. <clears throat> Shock. Taking to custody. Commons, commons, commons. Automaton. We got a Ravenous Intruder. Windkin Raiders. Barricade Breaker and a Green Belt Ravager. Elephant for one. It's a 3 4, but it's got a drawback. When Green Belt Ravager Rampager enters the battlefield, pay two energy. If you can't return Green Belt Rampager to its owner's hand and you get one, eh. I, I, you know, I thought this card was pretty cool when I first saw it when it came out. I don't think it saw really much play. Correct me if I'm wrong. Got an energy token. All right. Battle for Zendikar. Can we get lucky? Got a Null. Ah, uh, gonna spoil it if there is one. Got an Intruder. A charge. The Void. Grip of Desolation. Unified Front. Uh, Halamar Tide Collar. We got a Beast Collar Savant. So one one for two with haste, elf shaman all at ally. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Spend this mana only to cast a creature spell. Haste is nice. Creature uh, restriction is not so nice. Got a foil blighted fen and a full art forest. Put that there and this one here and move on. Battle for Zendikar number two. Commons, Eldrazi's, Griffins, Beasts, Akum Stone Waker, Zulaport Cutthroat, which is 
a good one. I'm going to pull it. Wind Rider Patrol and a Smoldering Marsh. So it's a black and red land. Smoldering Marsh enters the battlefield tapped unless you control two or more basic lands. These are usable again now because of Pioneer. And a full art. All right, Oath of the Gate Watch. Here we go. <clears throat> Consuming Sinkhole, Cultivator Drone, The Unnatural Endurance, cool. Common, 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 uncommon, Walker of the Wastes, Visions of Brutality, brutal. Ruin in their wake, also brutal. And a World Breaker, got a Mythic here. For seven, you get a five seven with the void. When you cast World Breaker, exile target artifact enchantment or land, it's got reach. You pay three to sacrifice a land and return World Breaker from your graveyard to your hand. Hmm. It's pretty good. I don't know. I, I don't know if that one sees much play, but I think it's okay. Um, here we go. This one here. This one, like, the package, like, fell apart. Is that a good sign or a bad sign? I get, there's a negate. Chain Mage, Thrones, Pathfinder, Scions, Cores, got a Grasp of Darkness, a Meandering River, a Baloth Null, and an Eldrazi Displacer, another Devoid, 3-3 three, three for 3, pay 3, exile another target creature, then return it to the battlefield tapped under its owner's control, a Blinker, um, not bad, probably sees a little bit of use, oh, Mental Token, very cool. All right, on to Amonkhet. The Manticore, the Gauntlet. Colossipede. Some timing. All right, a Zenith Seeker. Decimator Beetle. Crocodile of the Crossing and the Cascading Cataracts. Indestructible land. You can add colorless, and or you can pay five to add five mana in any combination of colors to your mana pool. Big filter there. All right. Some hieroglyphs. A dune beetle. Cultivator. Blazing volley. I kind of like that card. Ronus's Monument, Grim Strider, Trial of Knowledge, and a Cut to Ribbons, and a Foil Full Art Mountain. Cut deals 4 damage to target creature, and in the Aftermath, you, each opponent loses X life for Ribbons. Not bad. Yeah, nice foil on that there. That's good. Uh, let's see here. Our Devastation. Well, if I can't get a Masterpiece, I'll take a Scarab God, maybe. That'd be nice. Tragic Lesson. That's what I'm always learning here on Tragic MTG. Harrier Nega. Moloch. Gift of Strength. Mana Lift. We got a Bloodwater Entity. Sunset Pyramid. Saving Grace. Ooh, and the hollow one costs two less to cast for each card you've cycled or discarded this turn. It's a 4-4 four, four for five. So I guess in modern legacy you can get this thing out real quick and that's a good good one to have. But I would know. I don't play those formats much. Alright, last pack. <clears> Our <throat> devastation, and then we'll scan these all up and see if I did okay. Open fire. Stalwart. A hippo. True desert. Life goes on. A hashup oasis. Torment of scarabs. A braid. That's a picker. And a ramanap hydra. It's a 3-3 three, three for 4. It's got vigilance, reach, and trample. And it gets 1-1 one, one as long as you control a desert. And 1-1 one, one as long as there's a desert card in your graveyard. Uh, that's pretty good. This one's probably a little solid. And a Swamp, and a Dream Stealer, and no Masterpieces 
for me today, but that's okay. I will scan these up and see if I did okay. All right, here we go. My full art mountain was 262. And regular non foils. I got an abrade for a couple bucks there. Cutthroat. 90 cents, different version. Dollar. Ramanap Hydra. Only 34 cents. A hollow one. That's only a buck. Cut to ribbons. Cascading Cataracts, a couple bucks there. Eldrazi Displacer, not bad, almost three bucks. World Breaker 432, Smoldering Marsh, 288, all right. Beast Collar Savant, not so much. A Green Belt Rampager, yep, just a bulk. Aid from the Cowl, also Cultivator's Caravan, 36 cents. Padim is a buck. So there you go. About 23 bucks for my 12 packs. Um, tight. You know, that's how it goes. Still looking for that masterpiece. I'm going to get it eventually. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure to comment down below and give me a like. Subscribe if you'd like and check back for more later. Thank you very much.